why do you think some courts uh, implement the, the programs and others don't? Well, it, it, it's an interesting question because there, there, there are some courts when they when they talk about it make it out that it's kind of a, 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 it's an efficiency that taking cases off the calendar is a good thing because um, you know that way they can get to the remaining cases more quickly and and you know just get through their workload so it's a workload saving mechanism to some other courts might kind of see it as their mission to promote settlement, just like uh, trial courts see it as part of their mission to promote settlement. Is that yet, a, that's interesting. Uh, I wasn't aware that they saw it as a mission. Is that a mission that is set forth legislatively somewhere or is that? Is that well, no, uh, it isn't. And, it, and it's a controversial one to the extent that there is such a mission because there, there is a school of thought that says that appellate courts should not be in the settlement uh, promoting business since their job, unlike the job of trial, the job of a trial court is to resolve a dispute. Um, that's why, why they're there. And if you can do so with, with settlement, you know, all the, all the better. Why drag, why, why drag people through trial if you can get it done in an afternoon in a, in a, in a, in a suite of conference rooms? But by contrast, an appellate court's job is to weave the tapestry of the common law. And there, there is a school of thought that if appellate courts are in the business of actively promoting settlement, they are not only acting outside of their core mission, but they're actually doing something to undermine that mission. For example, if you could... Um, it, it would seem ridiculous to imagine that the California Supreme Court would have a mediation program. I mean, why would it do that? Because you grant review because this is an important and unsettled issue of law. But then you say, oh, and by the way, would you, would you try to settle your case? And that way we don't have to decide this important and unsettled uh, um, issue of law. I mean, it sounds ridiculous. It'd be even more ridiculous at the US Supreme Court, but you could argue, and I'm not saying I'm necessarily arguing this, but, but you know, playing at least in part devil's advocate, you could argue that it is also slightly ridiculous for an, an intermediate court of appeal to do that, because, you know, there are cases which, you know, ought to be, ought to be uh, decided and the, and, the, and the courts of appeal aren't in the resolution business per se, they're in the lawmaking business. Right. No, it's uh, it's interesting because it got me thinking that you know we have our political branches that are in the business of making compromises, and all of uh, all of economic life is about making compromises. Uh, the The courts are the one place we can go to get a definitive ruling: is it black or is it white? Is it up or is it down? And if the courts are now saying, "Well, we don't really like having to make those calls; are hard. Can't we just compromise like every other aspect of our life?" I, it seems like uh, we're being robbed of the one place we're supposed to get certainty out of uh, right. some of our transactions. Mm -hmm.